Good morning, it's Anne Murphy here. How are you today? Um, welcome to this live broadcast. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Um, you'll have to excuse my windblown look. It's um, very warm and muggy here in Queensland today and I thought um, it wasn't that hot conditioning so I've got fans on all around me to um, keep me cool so I'm not going for the Farrah Fawcett look today but I hope you're all doing well I'm just going to check quickly that I am appearing um, in the group where I should be because I have a bad habit of just showing up randomly on my uh, personal feed if I haven't done things correctly and you'll notice I'm using a third party um, app to come in live today it seems to be a good option compared to trying to navigate Facebook's um, ever-changing updates and everything else let's see yes I'm here so if you'd like to leave a comment um, on the video um, just click on that link that you'll see at the top and um, that will allow me to see your name. Otherwise, it will just come up as Facebook user, so I'll know um, who you are. But I just really wanted to pop in today quickly just to explain a little bit about this um, new theme this year, Living Your Best Life. Um, I'm so, I can't express how um, grateful I am that you're um, back in the group and supporting my um, ideas to be able to help you. I have to admit last year was a little bit hectic and for those that have been in the group um, know this, just with the challenges that I had with um, one of my children. But domesticity and um, teaching women how to juggle their home life, juggle keeping it clean, decluttering, organising, all of those things has always come uh, relatively easy to me until I had children. And what was happening was I was trying to maintain that level of organisation and I was even discussing it with my husband last night. I had such weird little quirky ways of um, being so obsessive compulsive about being organized in my house and I really don't know where that came came from I think my nana was probably a little bit like that <clears throat> but they lived such such a simple life so she very rarely watched tv she was an avid gardener and so I guess she had more time like no computer back in those days so she had more time and they just kind of worked from sun up till sun down but I don't know where this um, OCD came from but I just tried to to maintain that when my daughter was born and it and I just couldn't do it I just couldn't keep up the level of organization that I had to do in fact it was so bad I had to have a um, social worker come from the, the hospital clinic come visit me once a week for a few weeks and then once every fortnight for a year just to teach me to let things go like, don't worry about having the cups all lined up properly or the, you know, the floors cleaned every day and all of these sorts of things. And once I did, it just, it allowed me to be a better mother. Um, I can't say too much about my marriage because I was in a really um, terrible marriage, but I believe I was a, a good wife. Um, and those early days with when the children were young, were still really hard even though I did um, let things go but now that they're teenagers other than last year I'm getting back into those I'm um, having the house the way that I want to but I am also still lowering my expectations because at the end of the day when you're on I don't want to sound morbid but when you're on your deathbed are you going to be remembered for someone who had a spotless house or are you going to be remembered for someone who really um, enjoyed life and got made the most out of their life and did things that they wanted to do and um, really lived a full life? And that's what I want for you this year. Last year we talked about 
getting back to basics. Not very much, though. I wasn't in the group very much. But the year before was Organise Your Life. But this year, I wanted to be living your best life. So if that means turning a blind eye to some of those household chores that you just can't get to or putting your clutter inside a box and getting to it when you can, just so that you can take some time out for yourself to read a book or do a craft that you love or try a new craft that you've thought of. I'd like to give that a try. That's what I want for you this year. So the first point um, that I want to make today, my number one tip is your home, your rules. So even though I'm going to be coming in in live broadcasts all this year um, to teach you about how I might clean the toilet or how I might clean the shower. Like I've only got one one bathroom, two toilets, I have three bedrooms. I don't have a large home and it's the rooms are quite small. So this is how I do it. You might have a lot larger house. You might have three toilets, en suites, whatever. So you could need a whole lot a whole lot different routine to what I do. This is how I do it. I've got a bit more time on my hands now that the children are older, but I am still very busy in my businesses, domesticity and also um, coaching, business coaching. So I'm just sharing what I do. And if you can take something from that, please do. But if you'd like any more information about how to do something, how to incorporate some basic household chores into your day, please reach out. I'm here and I'll be able to help you. So that's um, the number one tip. Uh, also, your lifestyle will dictate your routines. So if you're working full time and you're out of the house from 7 a.m. and not home till 6 p.m., of course, you're not going to have that time at home. So you want to be able to spend your downtime relaxing with the family or just enjoying yourself. So you don't want to be stuck doing household chores. So if you have any questions at all, please just reach out. Um, the number two tip, keep your expectations realistic. So um, social media is great in one way. It's a great way to keep in touch with everybody. But the expectations, those well-lit photos, um, you know, we can all do them. We can all take that photo of that little corner of, a beautifully styled um, side table or coffee table while all around it is complete chaos. We can all do that. But just be realistic about your expectations and know that if someone does share a picture like that in a magazine or uh, a photo, it's not realistic. I'm sure if you surveyed a 100 women in their homes 99 would probably say, yes, it does get a little bit out of hand. So don't put your level of expectation on the same um, page as someone you, you follow on social media. Just be very realistic about your limitations and the time that you have. So that's tip number two. <clears throat> tip number three, if you want it done, do it. Now, a lot of this comes um, down to procrastination and I'll be the first to admit I do procrastinate about a lot of things if you can see my <clears throat> office desk at the moment and I've still got Christmas uh, a Christmas bag of um, a plastic bag full of all the Christmas uh, wrapping bits and pieces stickers from gifts that I wrapped and it's all still sitting here um, and if I want that emptied, I'm going to just have to pick it up and put it in the rubbish bin. But I sit down and I think, oh, I'll take that when I get up, but it just doesn't happen. But if you really want this done, if you really want to make a start on decluttering, um, someone just said, this is definitely the, the tip for me, number three. If you want it done, do it. And I'm not saying, oh, please don't. Peter Walsh, Marie Kondo, whoever is your guru that you follow, please be, again, let's go back to number two, realistic with your expectations. They have a whole team of people that come in and do their decluttering in a day. Just do one shelf, one drawer. 
uh, one room, one area of the house. Don't don't think you're going to get it all done in a day. Just do a little bits at a time, and you'll start to see see results because these jobs, decluttering and organising, are not a once done. That's the end of it. You. It's an ongoing process. I said this to my husband the other day. He was having a rant about my kitchen again. That's it's a funny story from long ago. But you outgrow your clothes. Your children outgrow your clothes, whether they're um, too big, too small. Crockery gets chipped. Glasses get chipped. Uh, you might find you've accumulated 10 different coffee cups from gifts throughout the year that you're just not going to use. Whatever it is, magazines, books you don't read anymore. Decluttering and organising is an ongoing chore that just has to be incorporated into your daily or weekly um, chores or seasonal. I like to do a clothes um, update in my wardrobe, winter and spring, things I don't wear anymore. It's been warm here. Um, so... Just remember that if you want it done, just do it. Write a list. Use an app on your phone. I use um, to do ist app. As soon as I see something, I I write a little um, write it on my phone to do um, screen or the window in my kitchen was looking a little bit um, worse for wear. It had splash marks all on it. And then one night, but after dinner, I just quickly did it. And like these things really don't take too long five ten minutes. So. Set yourself some goals this year, and that's what I'm helping you with this year with the challenges, the monthly challenges, and um, trying to help you incorporate some of these things into your daily or weekly chores. So number four, create easy routines and not strict schedules. Now, I've been working uh, on domesticity for 12 years, and during that time, I've seen so many similar bloggers, homemaking bloggers, create these amazing home management manuals and they are beautiful. They're beautifully styled, they're beautifully created in beautiful fonts and graphics and images and this big binder. I don't know about you, but I don't have time to go through a big binder um, every day and, and look at all of these strict cleaning schedules that I've got to do on Monday. I've got to clean the floors. On Tuesday, I've got to vacuum. On Wednesday, I've got to clean the fans and the... Um, skirting boards, all these sorts of things, forget it. You have to do what works for you and you have to incorporate it into your lifestyle. That's why I highly suggest clean as you go, clean the shower when you're in it, clean the toilet after you've done uh, all these other things that when you've got the vacuum cleaner in your hand that you clean everything in that room as you go, an extra two or three minutes onto your actual cleaning routine. When you do the dishes at night, wipe down the stove top, wipe down the kitchen, um, the fridge um, door handles, all these little things. Just make it part of your routine instead of having a strict schedule. Because if you've got children and you've got Tuesday to um, do the laundry and clean the skirting boards and one of your children gets sick, forget it. It's not going to get done. And if you're a little bit OCD like me, the whole world's collide, so don't bother about strict cleaning schedules and um, big decluttering days and things like that. Just incorporate these um, cleaning routines, organising routines and decluttering into your every day, and that's what I'm going to help you with this year. And the last one, number five, it's one of my favourites, what you focus on grows. So that's a great <clears throat> quote that I love. So if you are focusing on sitting there going, oh, I'm sick of looking at this declutter, this decluttering I've got to do. <clears throat> I hate myself. The, de the clutter just won't go away. It's overwhelming. I can't, I can't look at that area anymore. It just gets me so down. Of course, that's going to be your focus and that's going to grow. If you start saying, you know what, I'm going to take five of those books off that shelf that I don't no longer read, put them in my uh, in a grocery bag and put them in the car so that next time I go to uh, past the thrift store, I'm going to pop them into the thrift store. 
And the more you focus on those small positive changes, honestly, it grows. You'll want to do more. You'll start to see results. The same goes for cleaning. When you start to see your bed made, or when when you go to bed at night and your bed's been made and your bedroom's nice and clean, it becomes nearly like a, an oasis. Like I love going to bed at night because my bed's made and it's just such a, a lovely time of the day to catch up with my husband if we haven't seen each other very much and we just and you lie down and then you just go oh thank god you know I'm, that's the day done it's such a lovely time of the day for me something that i enjoy so remember that focus on these um things you'd like to do in your home in a positive way and start making those small changes and you you will see um good results so i hope i didn't take um too much of your time today don't worry this video is going to stay in the group please um, ask your questions I love people asking posting questions about the, the um, smelly washing machines and the smelly towels and all those sorts of things we've got some um, should I say well seasoned um, domestic goddesses in the group who all have different experiences and can offer a great lot of um, advice Please just take my tips as you find them. If they can help you, please do. Enjoy these um, craft and relaxation activities I'm going to be sharing throughout the year. Maybe it's something that you've um, wanted to try. Or oh, another thing, if you are an expert in a particular craft, it could be felting, it could be quilting, um, it could be um, starting a herb garden, or something that you think the group that might like to know about, um, please get in touch with me. If you feel comfortable going on um, camera like this with me and doing a little video um, tutorial lesson, I'd love um, to have you. I do have some guests lined up already to talk about a variety of topics throughout the year. So if you have a topic or a hobby that you would like to share, it could be scrapbooking, card making, um, knitting, crochet. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a whole variety of different things this year. Take it if you like. Um, if you don't want to uh, watch it, that's okay. But offer your suggestions. I'm, I'd love, I'm open to suggestions and I can't wait to see how the year unfolds. I'd like you to remember this day and at the end of the year, I want to be um, checking in with you to say, you know what, and thank you. I've made some real progress in my house and I'm going to um, keep going because it's an ongoing job. There's, let's face it. It's your home, your rules. Keep your expectations realistic. If you want it done, do it. Create easy routines, not strict schedules, and what you focus on grows. So that's my five tips for living your best life. Lovely to catch up with you today. And I'm just going to... Um, Put my hair in the fan and try and cool down enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch up catch up with you again soon bye